Hi, I'm Katie, and welcome to Sugo Gaming Weekly News. We are bringing all the Korean gaming news straight from South Korea. We've got global launches on the cards in our updates and releases. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the industry news from the Korean scene last week. Another release date draws closer as Korean developers Thumbage unveiled the final preview trailer for their upcoming MMORPG, The Karen M. The Karen M is the latest entry into the dark fantasy The Karen IP, which includes Ubifun Studios' classic PC title The Karen Online and a novel published in 2005. The final preview trailer for the mobile adaptation was dropped last week and gave us a closer look at the world and combat, with the slogan Kill So Good, promising that it has retained the IP's signature brutal action. The word final implies the game's release is imminent, with whispers going around that despite the game having no release date or window, it's likely to drop domestically sometime later this month. At the moment, there's been no official mention of an international release, but given the PC title's popularity outside of Korea, there's a pretty good chance the mobile adaptation will make it out too. We'll keep you posted. It's been an eventful period for NCSoft, as they enacted a mass rollback in Lineage M in order to restore game balance and placate the community. But that was only the beginning of the saga. As one thing led to another, and now NC is suing a whale player who has spent over 3.5 million US dollars in game. Yeah, let's dive in. Before we begin, it's important to contextualize that this involves the very top end of Lineage M's player base. NC dropped a patch that aimed to close the gap between whales and middle class players, which didn't sit well with the whales and prompted a lot of complaints. So, NC reverted the patch, but the whales had already opened their wallets to compensate for the upcoming equalizing efforts. NC was forced to refund the whales for their patch related purchases. So what's the issue? Well, NC refunded the whales with in-game currency, which not only allegedly didn't match the real-world monetary equivalent, but also has a low in-game market value. With customer service closed due to COVID-19, one whale took matters into his own hands and went to NCHQ, blocking the entrance to the parking lot with his car. The police got involved, the situation escalated, and now it looks like NC is suing the whale in court. This is a pretty unprecedented scandal, so it's quite wild in the Korean gaming community at the moment. Of course, we'll keep you posted with any updates, we'll be keeping a close eye on this case. And we'll finish on some event-related news this week, as the Nexon Computer Museum has reopened after a month of closure with a brand new exhibition focused on Nexon titles abandoned during development. The exhibition is titled Nepository, a portmanteau of Nexon and Repository, and features unfinished games and archives of the development process that were abandoned before release. The exhibition aims to showcase the work process and efforts that game developers put into releasing new works. Nepository is focused on seven games, including the chronicles of Peria and Dragonhound, both of which were showcased at a G-Star. Visitors can check out exclusive game art, planning documentaries and test videos, and even play a variety of live test builds. Reservations can be made online via the Nexon Computer Museum website. And in updates and release news this week, Blade & Soul 2 is getting even closer and players can start getting ready for the imminent release date pretty soon by creating the character in advance via the Blade & Soul 2 website. Advanced character creation will be available from April 22nd. CJ Entertainment has confirmed that Cooking Puka, around the world with a food truck, will be launching globally. The management simulation game lets players play as Puka and travel the world, growing a budding food truck business. The game will be available on the Google Play Store and Apple App Store from April 13th. And it's always a good week when we have two global launches to announce. Lion Games has confirmed the global launch schedule for multiplayer action PvP Smash Legends. The game will be available on Steam from April 13th and feature a 14-day login event to celebrate the launch. That's it for today. If you're into esports, check out our Overwatch Roundup with Naomi Nerf this later this week. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and check out all our social media channels like YouTube, Instagram and Facebook and follow us there. And then I'll see you next week. Bye bye.